What is going on guys, DBG here and today we're going to be doing a gameplay with the Galaxy Opal Nikola Jokic. The guy has got some speed lines. It's a weird one. It's one of those weird cards because like, one thing you don't associate with Jokic is speed. And I gotta say, he's quick. It's his best asset is his speed. His best asset genuinely in game is his speed, which is a bit of a surprise for Jokic. So, Nikola Jokic, six foot 11. He has got half catch and shoot, off corner specialist. He's also got like half blinders. Um, he's got like circus threes. And again, like chef, limitless spot up. I'm, I'm just saying limitless spot up and chef do not matter for a center. Especially one with the cat isn't really gonna dribble the ball too well. Like chef, say like limitless spot up, it's tough to trigger a half limitless spot up shot with a center. Um, so, it is what it is. If you can find a way to get used to it, go for it. If you like using, if you're able to use them from range, it's fine. But like for me, for a center, I haven't noticed the difference between bronze range and half range or half limitless spot up. Um, I think they've done almost the same thing in it, like chef for a center. He's got go quick for a step though, which is interesting, which is a very, very interesting um, thing to have. That quick first step badge is a pretty good badge, especially for a center. Because again, he's not the, um, as far as centers go, it's not like he's the worst dribbler in the world. He's got like in the 70s ball handle. But go quick first step could kind of allow him with his, with how good his speed to ball and acceleration stats are, allow him to burn. Obviously he's gonna be a really good playmaker. He's gonna suit all, some people's play styles. Like someone like an RCA is gonna have a lot more success than say, for example, someone like myself will with this card. Uh, but he's got a really good post to can fade away. He's got 94, three, 96 mid range. Again, really, really good um, attributes there. He's got decent driving dunk, but just look at his defense. Like it's not great, not great perimeter, but look at his speed. 89, 88, 89. We have not seen anything like that in the center. Lateral's not the greatest. He'll be an okay defender. But man, Jokic could be Yo, it should be something special. Like if, if in the right hands, Yo, which could be something special. In the wrong hands, man, I don't know how I feel. In the right hands, he could be something very special. So I'm guessing he's a buyer. I don't know why I'm searching like this. I'm, I assume he's a buyer. Yeah, he was a buyer pretty early. Like if he's 40, 50K, I mean, at that price, holy crap, he could be 40, 50K. Yeah. Yeah, Opals have tanked. Holy crap. He could be cheaper. What am I saying? I'm at 60K. No, he's 50K. He's 50K. Yeah, at 50K, I mean, if someone's good, if you're, if you're someone that's good with a Jokic, you've got a steal on your hands. You've got an absolute steal on your hands. So, where is it? Um, you got a Jokic. Okay, fundamental, I think. That release is not good. It's not absolutely terrible either. Maybe he's wide open to the three. But like... Like, why is his wing... His wingspan looks huge. Jokic is playable is way too skinny for Jokic, though. Just a heads up. It is way too skinny for Jokic. But like, he can actually kind of break people down to dribble. He's got a dribble... You got the old dribble glitch behind the back, the Yanis one. And he can actually move. As well as that, if you're somebody that runs to your center in terms of passing, Jokic is good for that. The occasional post fade if you want to go to them. He can. Um, like, he's good. He's genuinely, genuinely good. And like, I mean, he's not gonna be my cup of tea as far as centers go. But like, the more I'm kind of moving around with this guy, the more I'm like, you know what? Like, he's already gonna be a good center. He's good at what he does. 
And he might be a good in general center as well. Nice. Like... <laughs> he is... He's absolutely... He's going to be fun. I don't even know if I'm going to say he's going to be elite, but I mean... Jokic is going to be fun. Like... 50k Dark Matter Center, Jokic. Perfect. Perfect, perfect card in my team. So we green to three. Now we're going to get onto a game right here. So yeah, we can you see how we get on. Honestly, we should be okay. We should be okay. Clutch time. Chuck in instead of Wilt. Chuck in Jokic. And screw it, I'll use Westbrook's co I'll just use Kobe on ball. The one thing is stamina could be a little bit of an issue. I don't know why clutch time stamina goes so damn quick. Like it goes absolutely so damn quick. But, um, yeah, let's see if, uh, let's see who we are coming up against right here. Hopefully we can find the game quickly enough. All right, come on. I look, I want, I kind of want to come up against a good center. I kind of want to come up against a good center here. Let's just see what Jokic, okay, Brook Lopez isn't a bad center. He's not bad. Is he going for assist with Icing Kid though? He may well be going for assist with Icing Kid. Just trying to get himself a, a Jason Tatum card. Okay, lost that jump, probably my fault. Jokic's player model is so small that like, apparently Brook Lopez is only an inch taller than Jokic. No, hell no, Jokic is very small compared to Lopez in game. Free board, let's go push. That's the thing with Jokic. Oh, fake. Give me that. <laughs> Nikola Jokic for four. Okay. Okay. Maybe I can get used to that limitless spot up. That's the big thing with Jokic with 88 speed with ball. Man, dude. Dude, you're just the damn best. I stand by that. If you just hit that shot with Kevin Willis, you're the damn best. Give me that. In his face. Oh, it's a bad shot. I don't even mind. Like, I don't mind set shot 18. Oh, I don't like it. I don't think it's terrible. Drop back, steal. Oh, that's not good enough, Jokic. Run at them, hand up. Over there, are we? Big board, push, push, push. See between you and other centers, Jokic. So you can push that. Okay, wait for your stamina to go up. Don't burn it too early. Oh crap, it's only two seconds to go. I don't know why I was like, we're playing clutch time. Why was I able to try to stall and wait for stamina to go up? Oh yeah, easy on the hand. Give me that. Straight to the basket. Straight up. Easy lap, Jokic. Come on. Okay, he's running, he's running through, kid. Which is an interesting. Interesting decision. Okay, this guy can play. Good steal, Jokic. Run it out. Kobe in the move. Jokic is there himself. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. He's just too fast. Pick corner. Green. I mean, that's a hop, what a hop dime or center does. Man, the more I'm used, the more I even just mess around, just the way this card moves, the more I like this card. Like, he's not my cup of tea. He's not going to be a card that suits everybody. But, like, I can see why people love, people swear by Jokic in this game. May not be even a good clutch time player just because of his size, but he missed that. He should not have missed that. Steal. Come on, throw. Okay, we're good. Let's run. Okay, let's pop. And honestly, I'll just shoot the ball for Evan Lee's face if they switch. There we go. That's green. Come on. It's not even that. Like, set shot 18 is not that bad a release. That's an obvious quit right there. You can't deal with Nikola Jokic. And I am so, so pleasantly surprised about this card. Like, you guys don't understand. Like, I was like, oh, this card's going to be good for some people. No, man. 50k? 
for a card like this. Ah, man, that is, that is a great, great purchase. Honestly, a great purchase for anyone in my team. So let's go into TTR 100. I think he'll be an interesting player in that, in this mode here. The only thing about TTO is that like, there's a very good chance that I match up against someone doing challenges. And that kind of defeats the purpose of a lot of things. I'll let them do their challenges. I will let them do their challenges. I'm just gonna try to do cool things with Jokic. All right, come on. Dale Ellis, uh, I don't know, I don't even know what the LLS is. Ooh, got, dude's got Tom Chambers. Yeah, I mean, give me that in his face. Oh, wow. I don't know who he's looking to score with, so I'm just gonna let him shoot. That release is maybe the worst release I've ever seen in my team. Tom Chambers might have the worst release in the game. But I mean, again, you leave you leave Jokic open, he'll hit. It's kind of a problem. This is the problem with TT Online right now. Um, that it's just the problem with it is that it's just a lot of people doing challenges, and I'm completely cool with that I will let someone do their challenges on me. They'll let me walk down and just jack threes with Jokic. I will let them do their challenges on me. Um, you looking to score, Terrence Ross? Yeah, we run away. Dale Ellis is so chick, he's not going to miss. As I say, the guy shoots a full. Stop. Pop. Bad release. What's Jokic's take, actually? His glass take? Really? I know, his gla glass take's actually alright for a big. Oh, wait, this guy's actually just not very good. But like the rain, Jokic has some serious range. Like I'm just smoking release with him, but he genuinely does have some serious range. Just give him a space. Did you shoot the ball? Are you looking to shoot it? Okay, with him. I did not know what I do not know what he was trying to do there. Give me that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Jokic. They leave you wide open. They leave you wide open, you can hit. Who are you trying to score with? His release is comically bad. Like it is comically bad how Tom James Tom James with a freaking set shot 16, which I don't even care that much for set shot 16. I, I like Shemezi Metu has it. I don't even mind on him. It's literally that over. It's the chest pass over it, it's killer. All right. Leave Chambers open. Please hit a shot. I mean, you're the damn best. If you're out here greening with Tom Chambers, you are the damn best. His face. Oh, I thought we were gonna green that. Come on, he's not gonna hit two in a row, Chambers. Is he gonna actually guard me here? Nope, we knocked down the white with Jokic. On his drop back. Dude just shot on late. Oh yeah, this dude just shoot out here shooting late, eight lates and early. He's like, he definitely accidentally greened with Tom Chambers. Shoot it, man. Just honestly shoot it. Terrence Ross is, good. Terrence Ross is actually pretty decent. Let's go get it into Nikola Jokic's hands. And that should be game. There we go. Game. Game right there. The annoying thing about playing this mode today, well, if you're trying to actually like do it for gameplays, is that almost everyone's doing challenges, but still. You guys saw more than enough in that clutch time gameplay to know what Jokic is all about. The guy is good at what he does. He can push the floor better than any other center. He rebounds as well as most centers. He will get mashed. He will get mashed by you. If you are playing this game competitively, if you're playing high level 2K, he's gonna get mashed. It's the unfortunate truth. He's 6'11 and not quite athletic enough to make up for that. 
But offensively, there are not many more complete centers. His passing, his ability to push the floor, his ability to initiate an offense, his ability to be used as part of an offense, if you do are some that run set plays, Jokic has so many positives that the one kind of negative that he's kind of going to get mashed and not maybe the best defender, I'm still cool with it. I'm still cool with it. Like, Jokic isn't going to be for everybody. For example, again, the way someone like Ty plays, the way most competitive players play, Jokic is not going to be for them. But Jokic is, in general, a good card. And I think a lot of people will have success with this card. For 50,000 MT, man, I think he's solid value. I really think he is. I don't think he's quite Porzingis in terms of value, but I, I genuinely think this is a good card. So, hey, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.